Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond with Natalie Dawn. She's waving hello. <laughs> Cheers, Natalie. Cheers. Natalie's about to have a house concert here in my house, and uh, I'm super excited about that. And Me uh, too. She seems pretty excited about it. Um, but so we wanted to talk to you guys about house concerts, because I know that a lot of people have no idea what house concerts are. I didn't, like a month ago. Right? I didn't, like, maybe two years ago when I first started doing them. I had no clue what to expect, mm -hmm. and then I was totally just dumbfounded by how amazing the experience was. Yeah. So if you don't, why don't you describe what a house concert is? So a house concert is uh, basically like all the benefits of a really intimate, small, just like environment. And, and it's just like you go into a house that a fan volunteers and you play a set there and the show usually starts at a reasonable hour like 8 p.m. Yeah. and there are no openers and you play for like an hour or an hour and a half and then you hang out with people and uh and you you just have this really great um intimate experience with like 40 people instead of having a sort of distant experience with like yes. 150 people yes um yeah, it's just a uh, yeah. It's if you're so a performer great. and like you, got, I mean, if you've gotten to the, if you're lucky enough to get to like where you're playing clubs or mm -hmm. big festivals and mm -hmm. stuff, one of the things that I remember noticing when I was touring a lot is like the bigger the shows got, the farther the crowd got, and that was like one of the most like disturbing things to me because I remember that like I, re in that moment where I was like, this is great to be on a big stage, but yeah. the the like the bass players. 50 feet over there and then yep. the crowd's 30 feet that direction mm -hmm. I missed that energy of like being in a, a small bar or a club where people were like right in your face kind yes. of thing so when I discovered house concerts it was like mm -hmm. that but yeah. even I think it's just more important for we're well, not important but for performers it's more genuine of an experience so gen yeah right? so much more so much is that more. a good way to say it yeah i mean the thing is like okay let's be honest if you're the sort of musician that can draw you know 50 to 200 people yeah you're playing in really small venues um probably not going to have a green room probably not going to have your own bathroom you're probably <laughs> gonna mm. just kind of like go out on stage and it's gonna feel a little you know just kind of grimy and um you're gonna have the stage lights and you won't really be able to see the 50 people who came mm -hmm. to see you and and it's just i feel like the small venue arena in in the united states is really broken um because you know what it's amazing if you can draw 50 people yeah. that's freaking awesome yeah. most bands can't draw 50 people so if you can shouldn't you be playing in a space that sort of values that and rewards and everybody who comes to that yeah, right so like yeah. you know, people might like those 50 people might show up at some bar but then there's going to be 10 televisions that are on yeah with like you know, I always say, like, I don't know how me and my five band, or my four band members are supposed to compete with, like, those 20 athletes on the TV. Yeah. You know? like, they're yeah, way totally. more entertaining than we are, to even though we are, you know, like, we work hard at what we do, but that's it's way true. more entertaining, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. I think that's a really unfair competition. Like, <laughs> And then it also makes me feel like a vaudeville act, like... Like in the in the corner, like a remnant of history. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. That's why I just stopped playing in rooms with TVs. In fact, I took the TV out of my living room because I don't. I have that policy for myself and the band that uh, no rooms with TVs. We just don't play them. So wow. I said same deal for Natalie. We took that big TV. That's out. such a cool rule to have as a performer. I really. It like really that. stinks when you're sitting there and you take like a great solo uh -huh, or you do like uh -huh. sing like the heart like the five part harmonies are super tight and then you open your eyes and like everybody's. Or at the same moment, yeah. people clap that yeah. you feel the energy, and then you realize they're clapping for the game. Oh. It's like the worst. Oh. It's like the, oh. Oh, it's like thinking someone's laughing at your joke. Right. Or, or well, I thought they were, like, when, clapping for how great we were, yeah. and then they're clapping yeah. for how great the, yeah, I know. you know, the, the, the Astros are yeah. or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, so, it's just awful. Um, so the point is, though, house concerts are great. So if you're a musician, seek out. Um, you know, friends, if you have a house, have musicians come play at your house. Yeah. If you're someone with a house uh, or an apartment, I live in an apartment. And it's easy. It's easy. It's so easy. You don't necessarily need a PA. 
I rented chairs, but you don't have to rent chairs. Chairs are like a dollar thirty a piece to mm -hmm. rent, so they're also very inexpensive. I'll throw that out there for people. Yeah. Um, but people are also just totally happy to sit on the floor. People are happy to sit on the floor. Yeah. But yeah. you know, I'm a professional musician, so I didn't. Yeah. Want all no, these. that was. But you're the first person. Oh really? So far, of all the house shows I've, I've played, my many house shows, my many three house shows that I've played. <laughs> Cheers to a that. Real expert. How long are you out on the road? Mm. For uh, another week. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. So a short yeah. little run. Short house concerts, run. but it's going to be... I also thought when I've done house concerts, I thought they've been more draining as a performer. Oof. Right? Don't yeah, you I'm like glad, get over it and you're like... I'm glad you brought that up because... Oh, I'm, I'm so tired. <laughs> because I didn't think that doing... So I'm doing six shows at every... So... So I'm doing six shows, one show every night, then I get one night off and then I do a seventh show. No, mm. no, it's seven shows, one night off and then an eighth show. Oh yeah, that's, that's rough. what I'm doing. That's rough. So we're at, we're at show number four right now and I, like, I was a zombie mm. all day today. Because the thing is, you're not going on stage and playing a show for an hour. You are hosting in an, an evening yeah. for people who want to talk to you and want to share things with you and I want to share things with them too and it's great it's really great but it is way more involved mm -hmm. it, it's um, I mean the reason people feel like they've gotten more out of it is because they have like I have given more yeah you know? yeah absolutely yeah and you have to give more yeah. in a room like in someone's living room when the people are like sitting on their sofa right in front of you. It's the same feeling as like playing for your parents alone. Uh -huh. You know, like when I was a kid, my, my mom would be like, play me a song or she'd have friends over and play a yeah, song. It's yeah. like that same kind of like, Except, I gotta say though, as a, as a musician, there's part of, there's part of you that feels like anyone who comes to your show is kind of like your mom. Like mm. they just, they like, they like support you <laughs> and like, but like maybe they'd rather be somewhere else. Right. And maybe moment. they wish you were doing something else. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's my mom. That's right. like, that's so, so, I mean, the thing is, I know that when my mom comes and sees me that she like loves it. And, well, and your mom's a great piano think, player and singer and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you guys have music in common. Yeah. But I think you never really get over the feeling that, that, it's more like your friends, like when your friends come to your shows. Yes. Oh, yeah, 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 And you yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. you're like, oh, they just wanted there to be bodies in the room. Mm. and they're Or they're doing it to support you, to right. show that they care. For the senior release party. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it's weird to think that like, oh, no, there are actually people who really like your music mm -hmm. and who are going to come and who are going to listen to it, and they're going to choose to do that with an evening. Right. And it's not because... They feel bad for you. No. Which is... They love music. It's because they love music. Yeah. yeah. But I think, like, as a performer, I don't think I'll ever get over the underlying suspicion that, like, everyone in the room just feels a little bad for me. <laughs> and that's why they're there. Yeah. 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 Like, <laughs> you know? oh, poor Natalie. Oh, she's still trying that music thing. She's all, good for you. Good for good you. Good for you. For sticking it out. You know what? I'm going to applaud extra loud for that one. Yeah. Yeah. It is true. It is true that that's it's how the, some of these, some people look at us yeah it's the imposter syndrome though also is it it's yeah what does that mean the imposter syndrome is the the feeling that I think pretty much everyone has that um, that they're kind of a hack and that they shouldn't be doing what they're doing oh because somebody else See, I think like, I have the opposite issue. They feel out of place. I'm, like, overly confident in my abilities and my that's, professionalism. <laughs> that's really rare. Yeah. A lot of famous people are like that. I think, yeah, like, I think there are sort of the Amanda Palmers of the world who are mm. just like, <laughs> I got this. Yeah. This is fucking, this is what yeah. I do. It's I have no awesome. choice. Yeah. And, and then there's, like, all the other musicians who are kind of like, I guess I I guess I could. I mean, I'm not very good at guitar, but I'll play guitar. That's interesting. So that's how you feel like you feel about your own self and music? Oh, yeah. I'm constantly huh. I'm constantly struggling with like, oh, like I uh, like somebody else is much better at this than I am. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I, I get it. I totally get that as an artist. To feel, but you just like know you're way. the best in the world. Well, <laughs> no, I don't feel like I'm the best <laughs> in the world, but I'm confident that my abilities are 
at a certain level right. where like I can sit in with whoever and mm -hmm. I can hang and mm -hmm. play or whatever. But also I, I acknowledge that, you know, like I've, I've, I'm 42. I've been playing since I was five. There's that part of me as well mm -hmm. that's kind of like I'm just super comfortable and confident on my instrument. But what's yeah. interesting to me, you know, is like you saying that is like people who have like a, a good level of success and you're making music, making money, or making money, making music. Yeah. You're, you're making a living doing music. You're getting to tour. You're getting to do all of these cool things. Yeah. You've gotten to play all these amazing places, but you still have the self-doubt. So oh, that's, yeah. you know, it's like, so here I am and like, and if I have to, I'm at a lesser level as in, right now in my musical career. Right now, because, you know, soon I'll be, <laughs> it's, it's ramping up really Leo, fast here, yeah. over here in my music scene. It's a but, gradual uh, it's, <laughs> incline. But you watch out. Yeah, But what no. I'm saying is, no, uh, I, that's interesting. Yeah. Right. So yeah. house concerts are great. House concerts are great. <laughs> I mean, we got into a little bit of a we just another having, topic We there. started having a conversation. Yeah, we just started talking. That's okay. That's the best part of the show yeah. anyways, yeah, yeah. when you just start talking. This is what Garage Band and Beyond is about. Yeah, yeah. Garage Band and Beyond is like Natalie's favorite YouTube channel. Oh. She watches every single video every that day. came out. And yep. uh, every day. Yep. yep. And um, Yeah, she's just sort of like how I'm your favorite uh, songwriter and you know all of the lyrics to all of my yeah. songs. NatalieDawnMusic.com. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I even have that memorized. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a website. That's a, also her website. But that's where you, <laughs> <laughs> where you find the music. Um, yeah. Actually, you should go to Spotify if you really want to find my music. That's yeah. where my music is. Oh. It seems like there's maybe an alarm going off right now. seems like a car alarm is going off outside, but... You fixed it. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. Um, well, I think we pretty much no! covered how awesome house concerts sorry, are. Sorry, sorry. The house alarm. The, I no, think it's the a car, car alarm. alarm. The car alarm started again. It's probably one of our guests. Oh. Mm. Their, their car's getting broken this into. This is what, yeah. It's a rough neighborhood. It's, yeah, it seems like it. It seems pretty bad. Um, yeah, um, So is there anything you want to say besides, oh, we like house concerts. House concerts are cool. They're easy to do. Yes. Um, sorry that we talk so much random stuff. Um, do you find like, did you, well, I guess you haven't hosted a house concert yet. Mm -mm. This is my first one. I, Hosting. Is it going to be, I'm just wondering if it's easier to host than it is to actually be no, the performer. No, no, it's way easier to be the performer. You it's, walk in with your case. You do your thing, then you walk yeah. out. Tomorrow, I gotta put my whole living room back together. Yeah. I gotta go return the chairs. Yeah, you're right. I gotta put my house back together totally. tomorrow. Okay. And I totally wreck. Like I have huge welt and bruise on my knee Ooh. shin today from moving my dining room table by myself. Okay. So you better play well. All right. So we're really not selling the whole <laughs> ease of the house show right now. It depends on how many people you have to tear out your uh, not tear out, but you know readjust your living room. I was by myself today, so and we have a big dining room table, and I moved it by myself. Damn. But it did catch me in the shins. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, I think we covered everything. Mm-hmm. Did you get Natalie Dawn? I said that before. NatalieDawnMusic.com. Um, mm -hmm. Mainly just Natalie Dawn. Find me on Spotify. Yeah, and YouTube. And YouTube. YouTube and Spotify. And my terrible friend. YouTube if you like videos, Spotify if you like music. That's how that works. Oh, is that that's the new? How, that's, yeah. Hmm. Actually, some people listen to music on YouTube. I think that's crazy, but yeah. Have you ever had someone like yeah. be like, "Oh, this you know this artist," and they yeah. bring up a video yes, for you? And yes, I'm like, yes. Why would you bring up a video of them? Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's interesting that you think that. I think we're just old school. Since I think you're all such the kids a, listen on you, YouTube. I mean, you were part of the whole beginning of the whole thing. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's got to be pretty cool. Sure. <laughs> and on that note. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, say thank you to Natalie all at once. Uh, One, two, three. Thank you, Natalie. Yeah. And uh, you guys have a great day. And please hit the subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> and find my Patreon page. Yay, Patreon. Yay, Patreon. Patreon is awesome. Yeah, Patreon J Jack is was awesome. my first patron. That's so He's cool. my first patron. That's He's so cool. $100 a video. What? Can you believe that? No, it's a dollar. It's a dollar. It's a dollar. Yeah, because hundred dollar patrons are few and far between. Jack loves Garage Band Beyond. Yeah, right. Loves There's it, that. Loves it. There's that. Though, yeah, it makes sense. Sometimes you just gotta make make an excuse. You know, you just got an exception rather. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Okay. All right, you guys. Well. Cool. They're just waiting to subscribe. <laughs> yeah. That's what they're doing. That's it. That's all happening. It's all happening. Mm. Cheers. Okay. Good Cheers. to see you guys. Bye. Peace. Oh, check this out. This is uh, Jeff Lynn as a dog.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyway. Oh, I want that picture. I can send it to you. Okay. It's really I good. I would love that. Thank you. Well, that was fun. Mm-hmm.